This is my transparent chair <laughs> where I sit and have my coffee in the morning or afternoon or lunchtime. Whenever I feel like having coffee, that's where I sit, out here in the garden. This chair is not supposed to go here. That is supposed to go above in the balcony. We have a balcony of our bedroom where I'm supposed to have a little egg chair and a transparent chair but uh, I still have to do some work in that balcony so that's why I couldn't put any plant up there but that's supposed to be another oasis uh, for me. Now it's taking too long for this uh, chair talk. Now what I want to show you because this is a transparent chair and that transparent chair has got some, of course, what else, succulents down here. I am sunning them. These are cuttings that I've taken from outside. So they were growing outside and I took off some cuttings and now they are rooting. See fresh new roots, see there? New roots over here. So that's an old root at the tip and new roots forming in the bottom. And since I've taken them from outside, a lot of people make this mistake. The plant is grown outside, say for example, like this one's here. And then say, I would take some cuttings in here. Say that one, say, if I take that, take that. If you have got more babies, say for example, I'll take this cutting, or oh, that cutting, that one, that's a Leticia. But what they do, or even this one's, is keep them in the shade. Now, what you're doing, essentially, when you do that, is that you are declimatizing the plant. The plant's already acclimatized, it's already used to that. You could just easily chop off, let's go break this off. Say, for example, I'm gonna get this cluster here. Okay, so I'm not supposed to do this because right now they're asleep. <laughs> but anyway, let's just pretend. Oh, there's new roots coming up. I'm a liar. There you go. There's a new root forming. Can you see the hang on? New root forming. There you go. So now you take something like this that's used to being grown in the sun or in the full sun and then take them somewhere shaded. Bleh. Wrong mistake. <laughs> you should leave them. Well, at least what I do is I just leave them here and let them callus off. I'm letting the tip, the green tip, okay, let them callus. So naturally, I leave them there like that. So you got one plant and uh, that way also you are not exposing that area to the sun. Although this one has got the shade cloth above it. So it's not really, see, 50-50. So you get partial sun. It's only the afternoon sun that's going to sort of damage, not going to kill them, but damage them. And in here you can see new shoots. So this is a Cremnocidum little gem, this plant is called. And normally this goes all red when exposed to the sun because it's in this area, it's sort of half-half. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Now these ones, I've taken them off from somewhere and look at that, now they're all rooting. They root up faster as well, I find, when they're outside because they're in their... They're Agavoides variety prolifera, ag pink, pink. So this is, this goes pink in summer. So anyway, so I just leave them there until, ooh, look, new roots. There's lots of new roots coming out. Okay, focus, never mind. So that way, when I do put them out in the garden, they're ready acclimatized and they don't burn. I've got my brush because when I sit in here normally overnight, overnight, them little critters will oh i see a weed i see a weed i see a weed come here weed i just have to pull you off there you go oh, i got lots of weeds anyway i need to do some weeding but then the weather it's too hot too cold too wet too whatever or we have too many things to do see my plum how big it's grown my friends it hasn't been too long it wasn't big Okay, supposed to sing, but then <laughs> Google's going to flag this video so I can't sing. There you go. That's what it's called. Saves me typing it. <laughs> now, this one needs water. 
because look that is mealybug the mealybug loves and provides them because it's dry see how dry the soil is look at that no drop of water it's all like dust anyway so i need to water that and it's going to rain again today or it's just forecast uh, overcast the whole day so i'm best watering that but before I do, I'm just going to show you, oh look, cobwebs again. I need to get a brush again. Take my broom broom. Okay, it's an everyday occurrence with this um, spider. So people go into someone's backyard and they go, eh, spider! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what do you call this? You can spray them if you like. I do spray them occasionally when there's too many but these plants here are can you see there's a theme going on in here i am torturing them i am making them grow although that one doesn't need torturing well okay this one I've, is overlooked okay i need to transplant you into a bigger pot you are too dry that one can take a lot of water because that's going in the garden that one there and that's my first baby of that mamillaria okay anyway this one now you go clean 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 like that and by tomorrow uh, new web will form so even here look at that look at the web can you see then we go clean clean just the main ones and uh, the the cobwebs that are high, I don't worry about. The only cobweb I worry about are the ones that are in the bottom. So in the bottom, there's a cobweb there. Normally, they're uh, see these ones. They're safe. They're safe spider. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to bite you. But the ones in the bottom normally are red back. So there's a certain web pattern or formation for red backs as well. So now we're just going cleaning. See how the see look, hang on, let's go over here. This is my Halbin Jerry. I like to say Halbin Jerry I, but Halbin Jerry, Echevria Halbin Jerry. And this one I'm growing. Look, this I haven't cleaned every day. Uh, about a week ago is when I brushed this off. So there's a lot more spider. Um, okay. There you go. Now, more plants. Oh, Douglas hot has pink. Right now, they are dull. Hot pink or Douglas hot, Graptivaria Douglas hot. The full color is when it's cold. So when it's cold, they color up. When the sun or the temperature goes up in summer, during summer, they sort of pale. They just have a touch of pink but it's not really like pink so another name for them is hot pink i think the korean calls them hot pink okay so what are you polydonis polydonis is a very um i don't know it's not stable this is already i'm sure it's a hybrid of polydonis already what are you yep pelucida and that's terminal so any um plant that you see like this pull it off and the leaves so just a flower at the end it means this plant's gonna die so don't waste it so you might as well get that and put that there so you can propagate it and grow but grow baby grow so anyway I just remove I'm removing the leaves at the moment okay so right down to the end and also you will find that you will have leaves sometimes will grow a pup I can't find the footage of it, but anyway, but the closer you get to where the flower buddies, the more chance that that plant as well is terminal. There you go. So that's, that's good enough. You will know anyway. So that's why sometimes it's just a matter of luck that you buy a plant and they grow so slow. It's because you've got a terminal plant that's been grown from a leaf. So that's what you got to... Uh, watch out for as well when you're buying succulents so that's why if you do buy succulents straight away new plants I try to get 
uh, leave straight away just for insurance or that's why I buy two plants sometimes if the plant I'm getting is a bit small so okay so anyway I should get my brush but anyway that'll do